So we all know Oblivion Remastered is a good game. It's a huge success for Bethesda. Um, everyone seems to be enjoying it. But I do have to say that this game runs horribly. It is horribly optimized. And you know, I am running a 6650 XT, so it could be my fault. But I'm hearing from others that have higher end GPUs that it also runs awfully for them, specifically AMD GPUs. And I do have to say, the game's borderline unplayable for me. Um, no matter what I optimize in the settings. So I just wanted to make this video here and see what we can do to actually make this game playable. And again, I'm not expecting this game to be running at 120 FPS or even like above 80 FPS at all times. I'm just trying to make it run anything more than 30 FPS. I think my last save was somewhere out in open world. So let's go ahead and start this game. Okay. So as we can see... It is running at 20 FPS right now. 20, 25 ish, somewhere around that area. This is just using the standard default settings. Let's see what's going on in the settings right now. So these were the settings that were given to me. This is all default settings. And it is running at 20 FPS. Here, let's see what happens if I change my quality down to medium. Medium settings still at around 20 well actually no i did hear that you have to go back to the main menu and restart the game so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right medium settings let's load back in all right 40 30 you know 30 ish fps you know that's not bad it's not bad at all well actually it kind of is because you know the game's barely looking remastered at this point um, and it's still running horribly. So let's see what happens if we do low settings. Okay. This is the game in low settings. It's starting to look like the original Oblivion now. But it is running kind of... No, look, even then in low settings, it is running around 30 FPS, 30, 40 range. A 6650 XT, which released... Two years ago, wait, no, three years ago, as a mid-range GPU, should not be running a game at the lowest settings at around 30 FPS. That's just bad optimization. So, you know, let's go ahead and look online and see what we can do to make this game run better. Remastered, run better. There we go. So where else will we look for a more reliable source of help than Reddit? Uh, this is kind of what's going on with me when I'm outside the game just runs so bad indoors it runs fine But outside it runs horribly Anyways, let's see what this dude settings on. Oh FSR 3 sharpness 100. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. All right. We're back in options full screen. We got that 1920 v-sync off. We got that frame limit uncapped motion blur is off screen space reflections off now view distance high effects quality high foliage quality high shadow quality medium global illumination quality medium texture quality high reflection quality high i i don't know if i agree with that but i'm just following the guide here post processing quality medium hair quality medium cloth quality medium lumen hardware we already have that off and low upscaling technique he has it at fsr mode balance sharpness i am not doing it at 100 i can do 10 though i will i am comfortable with that and then frame generation on let's see how this runs all right oh look at that oh i'm still getting stutters though wait oh well that could be from the game loading but look i'm getting 50 fps oh that's a lot better 40 FPS, 50 FPS. I think it's pretty fine right now. Little couple swings. Oh. Some fireball. Oh, there's a little... Little lag whenever I do that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really a big fan of the frame generation. But I, I with this game, I don't think we have a choice. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You can see the after image of the bow. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of frame generation. But again, I with this game, I genuinely don't think I have a choice. 
So let's see if we can optimize this even further. So I found this other video and this is these guys settings. So we're going to test these settings as well and compare it to the other settings that I just applied. So he has motion blur off, screen space reflections off, view distance high, effects medium, foliage quality high, shadow quality medium, global illumination medium, texture quality high, reflection quality high, post processing high, hair quality ultra, cloth quality ultra. I have been seeing people online say that the hair quality and cloth quality don't really affect performance as much as you think it would. So we're about to see. Upscaling technique, FSR again, FSR three mode. He put it on performance and then the frame generation on. Okay, so if you remember, we were getting around 40 to 50 frames with the previous settings. Now let's see how many frames we get with these settings. Oh, wow. This is so much better. Oh my gosh. I'm receiving around 90, wow. Okay, this is more like it. It's running pretty smooth as well, and it doesn't look that bad. Who was that? What was that man's name? Winter Torrance? Shout out Winter Torrance from Reddit for giving me these settings, because this runs so much better. Let's see how it looks when I swing the sword. Let's see. It looks pretty smooth. You know, obviously, the frame generation looks pretty shit, but... What else can we expect? We don't really have a choice when it comes to not activating frame generation. Still having that after image effect. But again, like I said, I, I think we're just going to have to get used to it until Bethesda hopefully optimizes this game even further. So let's see. But anyways, I'm pretty content with these settings. If you want to further optimize your game, there's actually an optional driver update you can install if you have an AMD GPU. But... This only works if you have the Steam release because for Game Pass games, AMD Adrenaline software doesn't work because of, of course it doesn't. But if you have Oblivion Remaster on Steam, this can help you improve your FPS by quite a bit. So all you have to do is search up AMD optional driver update Oblivion Remaster. This link should pop up. AMD Adrenaline Edition 25.4.1. And as you can see, it has support for Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Remaster. And what it does is basically give you access to FSR 4 on this game. All you have to do is click this link. You're going to go on AMD Adrenaline Software. And I'm just going to use uh, Monster Hunter Wilds as, a, uh, as an example. So when you go in gaming, right here, right here it says 2.1. But once it goes on your game, it should say AMD Fluid Motion Frames 4 or 4 point whatever. And you should enable it before you start the game. Unfortunately, I have the Game Pass version. So what I have right now is basically what I'm going to get. That's the best I can get until Bethesda hopefully optimizes this game further. So that's the end of this video. I believe I already have the best possible settings I can have. Unfortunately, I wish I could use FSR 4, but... With Microsoft, they just won't let you do anything easy. Oblivion Remaster is just such a horribly optimized game. And I really hope that Bethesda releases some patches soon to fix this. Because I know this is an issue that everyone has been facing. Is trying to run this game. And who knows if that will ever happen. But anyways, please subscribe. Follow me on other social media. And I'll catch y'all later.